I'll go to the distinguished ranking member for any questions or comments he may have. Yeah, no, I'll, I'll be brief because we've, we've been through this before. Um, uh, you know, um, Dr. Parks, w w w would, would you agree that we should condemn Republican governors or any governor that sends um, migrants to a particular location or a particular city or town without coordinating with the local officials as to where they're being sent, just that the idea of just dropping people off without telling the people who you're dropping off where they're going or without notifying local officials so they can accommodate the needs of these immigrants. I mean, some of them are children. Uh, wouldn't you agree that that is something that is a, uh, that's a bad thing to do? <clears throat> what I condemn is the fact that the Biden administration is totally lawless. It, it does absolutely. So you're not going to answer my question. Doing, no, no, I'm well, I mean, answering your question. The answer is yes or no. The border is totally open, right. and the governors right. are doing what they can do so to you, deal with the millions of people coming so you, into this country so, illegally. So you think it's okay to take a group of human beings, not tell them where they're going, put them on an airplane, and then drop them off in front of the vice president's house or on a island off Cape Cod or in New York City or in Chicago, that you think that that is an appropriate way to respond to some policy differences that you have with President Biden? <laughs> Just and, and to call the call an open border policy differences? Yeah. Well, to my understanding, the Biden administration does the same thing. They load people up in the middle of the night on airplanes and yeah. drop them off wherever they yeah. think they should drop them off. So... Without coordinating uh, with the local officials. You without think that's okay? coordinating with local officials. We've yeah, seen yeah. episode after episode yeah. of that happening on yeah. the part of the Biden So you think this is okay? They have envelopes okay. with them, okay. with papers, we, we, to we, show we, them we, what yeah, to do. Right. So we, we, I mean, I saw what happened to some of these. I, I learned about what happened, I mean, with the migrants who were dropped off in Massachusetts without any coordination or notice. Um, I mean, luckily, we're, we're, our values are different than the values that are being on display. Well, I read the other day yeah, yeah, the, that there are some people still in Martha's Vineyard and they're enjoying it very yeah, much. Well, yeah, well, I... They're working, too, illegally. Yeah, yeah. It, the, I, I, I got to be honest with you. The, it, it is offensive to hear you talk in a manner in which you diminish the the worth of, of human beings. Um, I am not yeah, in any way yeah. diminishing the worth well, I think of you are any human yeah. being. Mr. So let McGovern, me ask you a question. I'm a very strong pro-life person. Yeah. I believe in treating people with dignity from birth to natural death. Well, I, and, I, I, and if you think that if, people if, should be treated with dignity, you think, that's not what the Biden you, administration think, is doing. If you think that not telling people where they're going and putting them in an airplane and dropping them off without coordinating with local officials so they can be met and properly cared for is treating people with with dignity. Well, you and I have a very, we, you and I have a very different opinion of how people should be treated with dignity. Uh, now, I, I assume that um, because I've heard you before warn against um, the federal government basically telling cities and towns how they should run their schools. I mean, I, I, I mean, I, I, I've lost count of how many times over the years we've been in the rules committee when I've heard you come up here and say that you know the the the. the the federal government should butt out of decisions involving schools. Um, and yet here, you say that, you know, no, we are, we're going we're, we're gonna, to we're gonna not only insert ourselves, but we're going to insert ourselves in a way where, let's say you are a, a public, a, you, are, you are an educational institution that receives any federal money, that we will, we, we will basically terminate um, federal support. Um, if you, for example, in this heat wave, were to open up a an empty uh, gymnasium where there's no students at school right now, so that people don't die from heat uh, you know, exposure to the heat, that somehow that they, they they're going to be punished for that. The taxpayers that when you say the word federal money, you're talking about hardworking American taxpayers. Uh, you make it sound like it's it's manna from heaven. It's not fair to ask hardworking American taxpayers to pay to house illegal aliens, and that's what we're talking about. So, where do you, where, where and, do you, where, and that where do you, where money? Do you, and by the way, the Biden administration's 
very quick, and what, so was the Obama administration, quick to take away money. If you're not following the rules on school meals, then your money can be taken away from you. There's a lot of hypocrisy here, Mr. McGovern, in, in telling schools what they can and cannot do. Well, but that's what you're doing here. I'm you're, sorry? You, you are telling local schools, you're saying the federal government is going to tell you what you can or cannot do. No, we're with, just saying we're going to withdraw funds if you break the law. <laughs> okay. That's the point. Right. It's, again, right. it's yeah. an issue of oh, I, I who's see. following the okay. law, who's not following the law. Well, some of these are asylum seekers. I mean, they, you know, I mean, some of these people Then are, they should go through the process. Right, but, but where they are going through the process. So where do they... Where, and, no, 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 no. They apply for asylum in the country where they are, and then they try to come into the United States. They don't come into the United States first and then apply for asylum. No, well, that, that's, we're not that's not what the current law. I mean, the law. You, can, you can apply for asylum um, if you come to the. I mean, are you, are you, are you, under current law, you can apply for asylum if you come to if, if you present yourself at the border. So that that is. I mean, no one's breaking the law right now. You may not like the law. You can change the law. I mean, you can. Build another. You could go ahead and finish the wall that you were supposed to build that never got built. It was going to cost you a trillion dollars, whatever. But it, but the current law. These people are not breaking the current law um, if they're housing people who are uh, fleeing because they have a well-founded fear of perse persecution. Anyway, whatever. I mean, we we went through this before. I mean, I I think this is you know red meat for the political base. And again, the idea that you talk, you talk about the safety of of, of kids and not a damn thing about gun violence. Uh, and kids are being massacred on a daily basis. But I guess, you know, uh, well, I'm, the political interests um, outweigh the, the public safety issues on guns. So with that, I yield back.